Hey guys. <clears throat> the last video you saw of ours, we weren't exactly sure what was going to go on with the housing market. And shortly after that, we had managed to put in an offer on a property. And I'm really anxious because of the situation that we are currently in, but I thought that that would be the perfect opportunity to go ahead and talk to you guys so I can waste some time. <sighs> Strap in guys, it, it's gonna be a rough one. So, why are we having focusing issues? There we go. So this is what we are looking at at the current moment, okay? So, right when we weren't sure what was going to happen. Josiah and I had decided that we were going to basically look for houses slightly outside of our budget that, sorry, I'm jumping at every bell, but you will understand in a little bit. Um, we were looking at houses slightly higher than our price range that has been on the market for some time and that hasn't been looking like it's selling and we fell in love with this one property and it is absolutely gorgeous so Josiah and I pulled the trigger putting an offer on it. It was listed at $199,900 and we put an offer for $110,000 and then I received a notification this morning that there was another offer and then right when I was making my coffee my realtor texted me telling me that they have another offer and that there's no way of knowing where they are in the offer but we will be hearing back in 30 minutes so Josiah and I decided to up our offer a bit and because this is a property that goes through Fannie Mae. Fannie Mae is a bank and they do a lot of um, foreclosures and things like that. I don't think this was a foreclosed house previously because I know we can run into issues with that. But in our area, there's a really big company called Corning, Corning Incorporated. Um, Ella, can you not? Ella. Ella, Ella, you goose. Now, Corning Incorporated has tons and tons of different plants all around the world. So it is not unusual for the people and the employees of Corning to buy really nice houses and then have to up and leave because they are transferred to another plant outside of the country. So it could have very well been one of those properties at the bank just took over because of that situation. So, <sighs> yeah, it is an absolutely gorgeous property. I, mm -mm. I am so anxious at this moment. I just got off the phone with Josiah because we were talking numbers, but like, There's a lot of nerves, but I feel like this would be a good place to show you um, what the property actually looks like. And this would also be a really funny vlog to look back on maybe a few years into the future. We're if we do end up in this property, that'd be really funny. If we don't end up in the property, I think that that would also be really funny. So I'm going to show you this current property, but like anxiety is there, man. It's intense and it's a lot. And I'm so glad that by the time the realtor had sent me a text that I was already pretty much done with making my coffee. Because I don't know that I could handle all that without it at this point. 
There's just so many nerves, people. So many nerves. There's just a lot going on. All right. So this is the house that we put an offer in on. It's cute. I really like it a lot. And this room is absolutely gorgeous. The basement is actually in really good condition. That's a one port garage in the back. So this is a double door and then there's one door in the back you need to go this way to access it. But look guys, it's so nice. And it comes with a lot of land, six acres. So the house is up here, this is down a hill and there's a little thing there. But yeah. So needless to say, there's a lot. So that house is built in 1809. It is one of the oldest houses in um, Irwin. And it, like the history, it, it's, it's really, really cool. So, I don't know too much about it, but Josiah and I kind of speculated and we think that it was an old farmhouse because it has six acres currently, but there's a giant field back behind down that slope that I showed you. And we think that that property was sold to use for current farmland, but we're pretty sure that this house had all of that farmland and that it was like an old farmer's house because it is a very farmhouse style and it's very nice and I really like it and there's a lot of yard space it's it's so nice I like it so much so we shall see it's it's a lot <laughs> and we have 20 minutes ah! I don't know what to do I don't know what to do with myself for 20 minutes okay well I don't know what to do for 20 minutes so, I think this would be a great opportunity for me to do some breathing exercises. Maybe read from my anxiety Bible. So, I'm gonna grab my anxiety Bible and we're gonna chill for a few minutes and read and do all of those things because that seems like a great thing to do. Because when you're unsure of how life is going and you get really anxious, the best thing that you can do is turn to God and pray. So we're going to do that. I'm not going to read it to you, but I will time lapse this just so it feels like a more congealed vlog to edit, I suppose. So I'm going to set you up anyway. I do feel a little less anxious and don't get me wrong I, I do understand that if we get it it's a blessing and if we don't it is also a blessing because I mean there are always things that you have to fix and things that you have to adjust to when you move but I know that in God's timing we're gonna get a perfect house for us. So, we'll see what happens. It's 10 minutes 
from time. Let me check my email. Not yet. <sighs> Trying to find a way to occupy 10 minutes. Oh, there's like a, an 11 minute video right here. So I'm going to, I'm going to relax for a minute and watch this. And then I'll, I'll turn the camera on before I check my email next. So we'll see you then. It is officially 103. So we'll see if the email is there. But before I touch my phone, I just want to say I'm going to be grateful no matter what happens. Because I'm just grateful that we now have experience in putting offers in. And we know what that process looks like. So either way, it's a good learning experience and I am grateful. Okay. Refresh the email. Nothing yet. All right. Nothing yet. What do you think, else? What do you think? Oh, that's such good girl. <laughs> Mouse. Do you love your mom? Come here, Moonch. Alice, what deuce? Oh, You're so cute. You are. You're precious. Did you fall over? Did you fall over? You silly goose. Did you fall over? Did you fall over, Zell? Oh, you're so silly. Oh, you're so silly, the kitty. Oh, my sweet girl. I think I'm going to check back in just a little bit, but let me just refresh one more time and then, yeah, so we'll wait a little bit longer, watch maybe another video and then we'll see you back. All right, we're going to check again. It's 110, still nothing. All right, it's been 15 minutes, nothing yet. I know I'm checking obsessively, I'm just excited. She did say one o'clock, yeah? Yeah, best offer they received today at one o'clock. They'll give us an answer today, so we shall see. The offers are in, so. It might actually take a few hours now that I reread the email, so we will see. It's now two o'clock. Let's see. <sighs> Nothing yet. All right. Check back with you in probably about an hour. Now that I've edited all of the clips that I recorded for you this morning, I figured it is 12, two, sorry, 2.51. And we are checking, I have a lot of emails, but I don't think any of them are the one. In fact, I know none of them are the one. But it had been a while since my email had updated, because I really hadn't touched it in that 50 minutes. So, we are still waiting, 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 waiting. I don't know how long these things take, but I guess we'll just continue on with the waiting. All right, we'll check back in a bit. So Saya just came home. Yep. I just checked the email. We still have nothing yet. Yeah. Oh, this is really crazy. <laughs> oh, I don't like this, but 
Uh, I don't like being kind of in a bidding war, essentially, but... It's not a bidding war. Well, yeah, it's like, if they're going to put something over what we put, then we won't get the house. But that's okay. I prepared myself. We literally put in the top that we can go, reasonably go with this, because the taxes are so high on it, on this house, that I wouldn't want to go any higher than this. And I did my math based on, like, the taxes at the full price of the house, so... It, most of the scenarios I can think of, it's probably going to be lower than that. But just in case, I did my all my math of the worst case scenario of everything. So you should be good the worst case scenario. And um, so yeah, so we put our hat in the ring because those are the two things I don't like doing. I, I get really angry when it comes to stuff like this. When, when I don't get a chance to put my hat into the ring essentially. Or that... Yeah, if I don't get my hat into the ring, it's mostly what makes me kind of not happy. But we do this time, we did put our hat in, we got an offer in. We did the highest offer we could do. So if it happens, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. That's how I see it now. Um, and now it's just a waiting game? Yep. It's been a waiting game for a couple days now. <laughs> well, we will find out officially today. But yeah. like I said in one of my previous clips, this offer had just come in. So... They, yeah, I I don't really know what else to tell you. Yeah. But this offer had just come in, so. i just been preparing myself for just not getting the house because I feel like chances are they're not going to lowball that much compared to us. Yeah. Because we basically almost lowballed them, like, now we've basically lowballed them, like, seven grand, 70 grand less than I... what the full asking how price of the house essentially we are doing what we can do yeah. with what we have available to us my curls are insane mm. oh my goodness mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry so, we did the best we can so we'll just have to see yes so we'll get back to you if we see the email yep all right, it is right. four o'clock. I just got an email, have not opened it. It may be them, it may not be them, we shall see. It is not, but it is refreshing and nothing. Okay. So, we'll check back in a little bit. I asked Josiah why he had nervous energy and he said, yes, he's nervous. And now he's denying that he's being nervous because he says that he's fine. And I said, but you're carrying nervous energy. He's accepting the fact that we might not have it. If he's expecting it not to happen and it does happen, he'll be happier. And again, I said that he was freaking out a little bit because of the nervous energies. And he said, yes, a little bit. It is a new thing. And he doesn't like competitions. And then I said, kitten! And then Sai is like, you realize you have your finger on the microphone, right? To which I said, no. No, I didn't. And then the audio returned. So this has been a voiceover by Caitlin. Thank you very much. But yeah, I just don't like competitions, so... <sighs> I just never have good luck with them. Hey, sorry. Oh, he's coming soon. Alright. Well, I think at this rate what we're going to do, we're going to check our emails periodically and then when we see the email, we'll grab the camera and record. Mm. So the next time you hear from us, we will definitely have an answer. And thank you for bearing with us through this. Mm -hmm. Our nerves are just really high. I and just so, want them to pull the band-aid already. Just get it over with. Because <laughs> we've been waiting. We put in our offer on Friday, and so it's been, like, we waited for the majority of the day Friday, and then we waited Saturday, and then Sunday, and then yesterday, and today, since we know what we're going to be hearing back today, it's like, it's one of those things where it's, it's just, it's a lot. It is. Oh, it's a big kitty butt. It's a big kitty butt. Hey, Kylos. Are you being a good boy? For now. Hmm. All right. Well, the next time you hear, it will be our reactions, and you'll, you'll see our first reaction because we're not going to open the email until the camera's rolling. So unless it's in the subject, we won't know.
Yeah, and I think you're already tired of all these updates. They're like, nope, nothing happened. Oh, nothing happened yet. So, <laughs> the next time we will definitely have an answer. Hi. It is just after 7 o'clock, and I think it's safe to say at this point that we will not be hearing from Fannie Mae tonight. What do you think, Sai? Yeah. So... I don't want to leave this as an anticlimactic vlog, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on this vlog tomorrow, and tomorrow is the day that this vlog will be up, so... If this vlog is coming out really late, it's because I wanted to wait to give you an answer. But understand that if it gets to be like 3 or 4 o'clock and it's still not happening, I really need to get the vlog up and moving because we do have plans tomorrow night. So, um, I don't have an answer for you at this point. And if... If we hear back, you'll know. If not, I guess we'll tell you in the next vlog. Good afternoon. It is two o'clock in the afternoon. I took my time and I took as much time as I possibly, possibly could before I had to end this vlog. And we still haven't heard anything. I. I don't know what else to say. I was I was really hoping that we would have an answer for you all. And I don't want to leave you on a cliffhanger. But the fortunate thing is you guys will know what happens hopefully next Wednesday. Josiah and I might be even waiting out for a couple of more days. We don't know and this has not been easy on us so I just I want to ask you to send good vibes and prayers our way we really really appreciate it it's it's not been an easy time trying to go through all of this good stuff and Ash is bouncing around in the background it looks like he wants some attention so let's see what he's up to hey chilla dude Hi, baby. Are you having good times? Yeah. See, you haven't seen the big camera. Don't chew that. I don't want you to chew on the lens. No, don't bite my ring. What's wrong? What are you doing, baby? Hmm? What are you doing, baby? No. Oh. He's being such a good boy. Ah, uh, don't bite that. In you go. Scoot, scoot. In. In we go. Crazy one. Crazy one. You gonna tell everybody bye? Say bye. We does you. Alright guys. I think that's going to be it from us. Thank you for all your support and well wishes. And we'll see you next week. Bye.